Hello all you beautiful people out there, this is Grizzly, and sorry I have not uploaded for over a week, but it was my birthday at the weekend, so, so the celebrations got out of hand, and I'm back now, so don't worry about me. Um, so today what we're thinking of doing, oh first of all, what I want to say is, um, sort of get you guys involved a bit more, I haven't really sorted out an intro yet, like, I'd never know what to say, like, hi, I'm Grizzly, hi, hi guys, I love you all, um, yeah, so, what I thought we'd do, this is a little bit of fun, um, you guys in the comments below, just rock out a, an intro that you'd want me to say, if it's acceptable to say, then whichever one gets the favourite, or gets the most likes, or whatever, then I'll say that, so yeah, just a little food for thought for you guys. And this is what we're going to be working on today. This is a little chicken contraption that I made. I'm going to build another one whilst just while these chickens are um, maturing. So, yeah. So basically, what happens is this is on a timer. This shoots out the eggs. So I'll fill the dispenser with eggs, and they shoot out. This this keeps going around. It's on a re on a repeat, and then this little circuit. Uh, allows this piston to um, let a little slice of lava to go out and then it cooks the chickens when they're, when they're grown. So we're going to get cracking and I decided to use brick as my main building block just because I've got loads of brick and I haven't used anything to use anything from it yet so let's crack on and see what we get. So First of all, we want to build um, where the. Shit, am I going to have enough room? Let's move this across a bit. Yeah, we'll build it here. Get rid of some of this. And so. Let's build up. Now on my on that little preview test one, I didn't build the the um, piston high enough because my um, wires wires were like overlapping each other. So we'll make sure that we build this one a bit higher. And it's going to be a pain having to jump up every time, but we'll figure it out. All right, so. Where the piston goes, and then on the back of the piston, put a block out, and then you want to put a redstone torch. Shit, is that all the redstone torches I've got? And I don't have any wood. Redstone torch there, like that. And let me go and get some wood real quick. Look at this little handy little room. Hello. Hello, all you wood. I love you. And that'll do. There we go, and make some more torches, but we're going to need some of that redstone, so not too many, that'll be enough. Alright, so the redstone torch goes onto the back of that, and then obviously straight above where this piston is extended is where the lava will go, so that'll be fall down there, and that's where the chickens will get cooked. So from this torch you want to build a little root round for where your your um, lever is going to be so on this block we put a repeater which is there and then just make a little redstone track and what do I not need? I don't need feathers I need torches right. And there we go. Just pull this down and put a lever. Have one, thankfully. In this block. And as you can see, it takes the power from the torch, which then retracts the, the piston. And so on top of this, so what we want basically is this piston to 
let a little slice of lava fruit and then shut again. So we're going to do that by building a little relay with using all these. You see on this one we've got this little circuit set up behind. So that's the piston. Behind the piston and 10 on full delay. Just let a little slice of lava through. So we're going to need to dig out a bit here. This is why I wanted to blow up these mountains, because it's just annoying, they get in the way. But yeah, I did have a good birthday, thanks a lot for asking, and <laughs> yeah, I uh, went home for it, because I'm at, I'm at uni at the moment, so went home for it, went to the casino, did loads of shears, made some money, spent some money, and yeah, so that's how that worked. And I've just realized there was no point digging any of that out. Because what we want our track to do. Oh, bugger. So we want to uh, link between the piston and the back of this. So this is where the relay is going to go. Or the repeaters I should say. Let's just build this out a bit. Dig these out. So yeah, the, the uh, videos will be back to fairly regular. I apologize for not being too committed to this stuff. But I think a birthday is a reasonable excuse. Do you not? And I've been trying to hunt Enderman. I might do a little montage at the end of this. Where I'm just killing loads of Endermen. Because I need Enderpearls because I want to go to the end. And I didn't record it but... I don't have it on me. I got a really good, really good uh, sword, which has um, looting on and unbreaking and fire aspect and all sorts of shiz. It's just beast. One, two, three, four, five. Could probably just go all the way to the end now. Six. And ten. Bam, that goes to that. And let's see if this works. Click the switch, it shuts. And as you can see, they are lighting up and it opens again. Perfect. That's what we like. That is exactly what they want it to do. And then you just shut it off at the end and it stays stays open. So let's let's put the little lava in. Ooh. very simple way to make this and my chicken farm has just given me well my egg farm has just given me so many eggs that I literally do not know what to do with them so you put the little lava in there and uh, so it just Creates a little slice like that, you see? And bam. Kill some mudbook chicken chair. And then the next thing we need to do is have a dispenser hooked up just below this so that the chickens hit the back wall here. Where the back wall is gonna be. I suppose we can fill that in. And fill that one in. So, I suppose it can hit this level height, or it could hit one higher. Hmm. So I'm going to put the dispenser here. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. I'll put the dispenser there and fill this back wall in. And now you're going to need to build this clock, which I've built under here. This is also really, really simple. You just need torches, one repeater, and some common sense, which I may not have now that I'm talking about it because I've ran out of... Damn it, I'll steal this one. Okay. So, that's already wrong. Put that there, and then the repeater goes here. And this can be, doesn't matter if you just have one gap, or it can come out here, the clock, you might as well make it as small and neat as you can because there's no point wasting space with it. Uh, get rid of that block. Trap myself in for now. And so from this block you have a torch. No torch on the bottom of the dispenser otherwise it will not work. Light that up and get rid of that torch. Redstone torch on that block. One piece of redstone, redstone torch, one piece of redstone. And as you can see, look, there it is, working away. And if I if I did have any eggs in here, then they'd be constantly firing out until it's empty. So you just want to put a little lever down. Here, so on is off basically. <laughs> That's how it seems to work. And yeah, they're fine like that. I don't think it's affecting it. Let me just see. Switch that off. So that's the only thing you just because if you have a button here, it will just shut back really quick. It won't use this circuit. So you do need a lever. And just remember to switch it off when you've cut the chickens to whatever speciality you like. I know it's not steak, but some people are weird like that. So I'm just going to put a little glass front on this. Uh, it's going to need to be like a saw. Glass here. And let's see how am I going to do this. Yeah, one thing that I would use, make sure you use a non-sticky piston. Otherwise, when you put your front on here like this, then it's not, it's going to retract the, the brick or whatever building block you used. And it will not work. And I want this to be brick. Uh, so touch. Brick this up. Hide. Oh. Hide that, and it should be fine now. So I suppose I can test it with a few. Let me go and get some eggs, and let me eat. So they look like they're fully grown now. So hopefully, it works. I know I've made a few adjustments to the original design which I've got there so if it doesn't work then I'm not too worried uh, let's get rid of a button as you can see look that both of them are full oh and that's a creeper okay and I have no Stop. come on then I was building that one and creepers just kept coming and I don't know why because I've literally lit up the entire place yeah, fuck you. Look at torches everywhere. And they still spawn and come and try and attack me. Really, really annoying. So, fill this up. That'll do. And, you can see, it's firing them out. I mean, you can put this, set this to do a delay. And it fires them out slower. Slower, should I say. Can't speak anymore. Um, but that's completely up to you. I mean, 
I've got that many eggs that I might... Oh, I forgot to do that. Uh, damn it. Uh, go on. Yeah. Alright, that's how it should be. Uh, leave that free so that I can collect the chicken. Ah, uh, that's another thing I've forgotten. I also need... Yeah, I've got stone. You need the chickens to land on a half stone block. Otherwise, you won't be able to collect. Oh, I've already got some. I'm prepared. I know I'm prepared. Da -da -da -da. I should probably switch this. Damn it. Switch it off. I suppose I'll just do that for now and then when when they then die, which will happen, I'll I'll fix it. Fix it right up. Alright. So that's finished. As far as the contraption is concerned, I'm gonna neaten it up, I'm gonna make it it's a bit of a nicer building. I suppose I don't need can clean it up a bit and have a little walkway and have some chests where all the cooked chicken and eggs and stuff can go to make it look a bit nicer and just fill in gaps so that I don't fall down. Uh, yeah, really simple. I mean, you can, as you can see, this one's slightly bigger than the first one I made. Just however you lay out your your repeaters, and as you can see, like my this is just a 4x4 four four grid, so that that doesn't take up any room, and that goes just sits underneath your repeaters. And fires out. You can see I've nearly run out of eggs. It's not the most efficient way. I mean, you, it's always random getting chicken from eggs, but you just got to watch out for them getting stuck up there. And we'll see how this one works. I mean, I'm not... I see... A, how I've got this space that they can't fall, they can't jump back up. I suppose they're trying to jump back up here, but we'll see how it goes. And if it, if I don't get anything from it, I don't. Fair enough. But we'll see. But as you can see, the repeaters and cooked chicken, which I can't get to. Give me my chicken. All right, so. How many did I have? I should probably check that. Um, but yeah, works well enough. I mean, there weren't that many chickens in there. So just switch off when you're done. And then f fill up the dispenser again. I mean, I suppose a way to make it a bit more efficient would be to have another dispenser. And then maybe just um, when this is, act when well, when this switch is activated, have another piston. Which pushes them all the chickens into one one space. Don't know. Maybe that's an upgrade for the future. But for now, I mean, I've got enough food as it is because I recently, excuse me, recently um, extended this. I mean, and I had to kill off a lot of the, a lot of the cows because they got out. So currently, my inventory I've just got. So much steak and chicken and melon and all sorts. And the melon farm is something that also that I'm gonna gonna think about doing for the future. But it's just, it's just melons aren't very very worthwhile eating because you only fill back one bar of health. It's not really worth it. So yeah, that just keep filling this up and then then it's good. So I might skip forward now and show you the finished creation. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, guys, welcome back. And as you can see, this is what I've decided to go for. I didn't like the brick in the end. It felt too, it was too light. And I think this looks it's cooler, the glass and the, uh, and it sort of fits in a bit with the top of that one. So let's go inside and yeah pretty basic at the moment what I might do 
is um, instead of having to keep to go over here to collect the eggs, I might do a few water streams and make it so that it runs right into the bottom of this. So maybe just have like a ladder going down here or something. And as you can see, look, I've got loads of eggs. And I've just put these little chests. I might might put the chicken in them, and just so that you can see that I haven't changed anything. Yeah, all the same. Just filled in around where the lava was. Um, this fence is empty. I mean, I could turn this this off, but there's no point really. I'll just leave it running. As you can see, quite a few chickens down there, and. If I, even if I just do, because they're obviously when they fully grow, um, they're gonna um, lay eggs as well. So I can collect them. Uh, yeah. So that's it. That's it working. This is a bit annoying, but I'm not too fussed about that. Like I said, I've got loads of food, so it's all good. I think I like the look of it. And um, yeah. So what I think I'm gonna do now is maybe ask you guys for some help uh, I've got no arrows so oh, oh. um, I'm gonna go over to my blaze spawner and I'm wondering whether you guys can help me um, I'll meet you over there it's probably gonna be easier than, than me getting on the minecart and going all that way with you guys in tow since all the videos getting on a bit at the moment anyway so I will see you over there alrighty I'm back here we are here is the spawner, and I'm having issues with it. It's still it's still a lot quicker than my oh I forgot to bring glass than the um, skeleton spawner that I had, but it's it's a bit of work. I've I've been using iron and stone swords to the, um, kill these more truckers because for some reason, if you watch this right. So basically this is for the crusher and this is to block them off. So block them off works fine. Okay. Then put the crusher on. Yeah, crushes them. If I switch it off, it stays open until I open that one. You see, so this is the design I've got. Literally exactly the same. Apart from yeah, because I um I decided not to use the little delay using all the repeaters because that seems to muck up as well. So basically this this lever goes to the crusher and this lever goes to so so this is I don't have any blocks to put on it. Um let's just do this quick. Because this is really annoying me and I want to know why it's not working as it should. Right, so as you can see, it, the um, top one extends, and this is for the um, this is to stop any more coming through. So I, I, normally, if I'm using this, I'd press that one, then I press this one, and then da, 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 finish with that one, and it works. On this is exactly the same as the setup I've got here. As you can see, relays at the back, um, sorry, repeats at the back. I've got. Bottom one on the underneath, and then that one on top, and I oh, what was that? Something dying. Um, yeah, I just don't understand why it works for one and not for the other. Exactly the same setup. Um, so if you guys have got know anything about that, that would really, I'd really appreciate that. Other than that, I'd just have to keep. Knocking them and it kills my swords a lot more, but which I'm not too fussed about. I mean, it's only stone swords really, or even if I use if I use iron ones, I've got loads of iron, so I'm not too worried about that. But it just I don't understand how something when it's here it works. Oh, if I don't knock the bloody thing off when it's here it works, and when it's when it's on the actual thing that I'm using. Rage! Mouse rage! Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that. I mean, it's still really effective. I mean, I just stand there and hit the shit out of these guys. And it probably takes me about an hour to get to level 50. 
which, I mean, is decent. I mean, if I'm going to travel to the end at some point soon, but to do that, I need to find Ender Pearls, which is why I want to go Endermen hunting this in this this um, episode. Uh, but yeah, so if you do know anything about, please write in the comments. Tell me why I'm such a retard. You can call me a retard if you really, really want to. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I know I'm not a pro with redstone and stuff, but when it works. When it's not on the actual thing, and then when it's on the actual thing, it doesn't work. I don't understand. Look at my legs! My legs hurt right now. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I wanted to know. Also, I've, I forgot to mention in last episodes, um, I'm looking for someone to do me like a YouTube background or um, like thumbnails for my videos because I am too lazy to do it. And I like to promote other channels. So if you you guys know anyone that does it or you do it themselves, then just leave a quick comment or give me a message and I'll I'll get back to you and give you a little shout out on my channel as we wow back to the overworld. Uh, but yeah, and I'll show you what else I started. I know this video is getting on a bit now, but so I was gonna start doing this. Um as you can see these levels 1 to 6 pickaxes and then I've done 7 to 11 but oh, I could do 12 now I'll do 12 now as you can see I've still got over 100 diamonds so I'm not that worried about running out of diamonds at the moment although I will have to do some mining at some point oh, 12 beautiful Efficiency 2 and Unbreaking 2. That is not a bad pick. Um, but yeah, so I found out from the the snapshots that um, apparently the enchanting's changing and it's only going up to level 30. So I'm not sure whether I should carry this on. I mean, I've got the footage of um, me enchanting all these. You see Unbreaking Efficiency. They're all pretty, pretty similar there. Um, oh, I got efficiency, too. but I mean, if if the enchanting's changing, then I don't see why I would bother enchanting all them and maybe not getting anything decent, you know. Um, but let me know if you guys want to see that. I mean, I can do. Um, but yeah, this is a sword that I got. Look at that beast! Not about two sharpness, four looting, three fire aspect, two. Oh yeah! So literally this is just owns uh is it dark or is it I don't know. Let's shall we see if these little chicken motherfuckers have uh so they haven't grown up yet. That's fine. Let's go let's go try and fight some people. If I need ender pearls. I think I need quite a few as well. I mean I've obviously I've got a shitload of blaze rods now, so the blaze powder isn't going to be a problem. Because if you didn't know, um, to find the stronghold, you need to. Um, oh, we've got six blaze rods there. You need to make eyes of ender. So you have you change the blaze rods into blaze powder, and then you have an ender pearl, and then you throw it in the air, and it shows you the direction and location of your your stronghold, where then you fight some shit. Um, I don't think it's dark. I might skip back and do a little Enderman montage. So, thanks for watching, guys. I think I'll just put a bit, a little bit of music over the top. So I've ne never really do much of that. So, oh, watch me just end this creeper. Look at that. Hey, hey, buddy, get dead. Hmm. And yeah, looting gives you. I think it gives you more of what more drops. So it's sort of like fortune but on an on a sword. So this is like my baby sword. I I don't like using it too much. But I mean this knockback two is alright, but when you come across skeletons and you just hit them back, they just um laugh at you. I just I just can still get you with my bow and arrow anyway, so I don't care. That's basically what they say. Um 
But now I'm just waffling on. Right, yeah. I'm going to do a little Enderman montage at the end of this. Where I just kill some more truckers. And thanks for watching again, guys. This has been episode 12, I think. And if you have made it this far, I would really appreciate a comment. Um, just let me know what you thought of the episode. I mean, that's all I really asked for. I know sometimes I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, subscribe, do all that shit. But I'm not that worried about that. I just want to know how I can improve, how I make these videos as entertaining as I can for you guys. And hopefully you all enjoy them. Um, but yeah, comment. Even if it's just like, um, I like your face. You haven't seen my face yet. I know. Um, yeah, cool. I'll stop saying, um, okay. Kill you. Okay, okay. thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye. Oh, I see you, little shits. Finally, yeah, you see me too, yeah? Oh, yeah. Come on, come at me, come at me. Got you at last, this is my town. This is my town. Ooh. You sneaky little bastard. And you didn't even give me a bloody... Damn it. Oh, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, you little shit. Oh, I see your eyes. I see them. I see them. Yeah! Oh, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you too. No. You little... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no. Oh. Yes! Why? Why no? I got you. I got you. The multiplying. <gasps> the mother load! No! Oh, shit. I forgot I didn't have much health. Oh, that was amazing. I'm coming for you, you little bastards. Oh, I've I, I seen you. Uh, screw you. Uh oh. Uh, uh, stop doing that! Do you wanna? Oh, I, oh shit! I'm using the wrong sword. Never mind. Oh, now you did. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, you did. Give me them pearls.